There's a lot of people talking about what's happening on roadsides. I just wanted to show you the biodiversity we have here. Here's some cow parsley. That, uh, then there's this forage, dandelions, more, um, uh, not catoniaster. Oh, I'm being stupid. I can't think what those are called. They flower in August. Dandelions, columbine. So more dandelions, some nettles, bluebells, lots of bluebells. There's purple bluebells as well as blue bluebells. Then there's poppies, more dandelions, more borage, bluebells, more uh, columbine, and loads and loads of this autumn flowering. Um, and I'm being really stupid. Oh, not cosmos, not, co um, oh God, I can't believe my head. I've got a brain fry. Anyway, loads of stuff is all in flower along our roadside. I'm always trying to add to it. Look at this, white bluebells. I've remembered, crocosmia. Me Egypt brain didn't get it right. Crocosmia is this stuff and it flowers in August and September. But I also have seedlings of hellebores that I planted uh, a couple of years ago. It'll take a few years for them to start flowering, but they'll look wonderful um, when the, they start flowering come later uh, in their lifespan. But over here, again, there's more bluebells, columbines, and more crocosmia. And what I have been doing, and look, there's even a fern on the wall. There's a fern. But also, uh, if there's trees like this one and this one, they're not going to live. So I pull them up and transplant them into pots and then plant them out elsewhere. So that's our gate frontage. Loads of pollinators and food for the wildlife. And then the cherry trees that my grandfather planted. Loads of beautiful cherry trees. Look at that, full of blooms and buzzing with bees.